Hello and welcome back. You're watching Straight From The Doctor's Desk with me, Dr. Andrea Purcell, where I help women struggling with health and hormonal issues reclaim and regain their health and their life using natural medicine. Today we're talking about immune boosting. The cold and flu season is upon us. Today I'm going to share with you my top three immune boosting tips. There are really over 200 viruses circling around that can cause a cold or a flu. The typical duration of a cold lasts four to 10 days. It's generally an infection that lives in the upper respiratory tract. When it comes to colds and flus, the best defense is a good offense. I like to think of the body as a garden. How do you prepare your body for good health? It's really the same way you prepare the soil in your garden, making sure that you have good soil, some compost, and a proper mineral balance for the plants to grow. So you now I talked about saying I wanna cover my three immune boosting tips, but there's really seven ways to prepare your body garden for good health. The first is eating fresh fruits and vegetables. They're the body's main source of naturally occurring vitamins and minerals. Eating too much sugar, refined carbohydrates, and too little of the fruits and vegetables deprives our body of the nutrients that it needs to properly nourish and feed the immune system. Next, drinking water is key. When your body stays hydrated, the circulation of the red and white blood cells are able to function optimally and they can do their jobs. Next up is getting plenty of rest. Insufficient sleep and exposure to lights during the night will also weaken the immune system. Since the hormone melatonin is produced and triggered by darkness, it's one of our body's most important infection fighting tools. It's a super antioxidant. Next is reducing stress. Stress reduces the activity of our natural killer cells, which are an important part of our immune system. And what they do is they prevent viruses from going into our cells and infecting them. Next, exercise. While overexercising can reduce immunity, moderate exercise is very good at increasing the natural killer cells that help us fight off infections. Next up is washing your hands often. I think we're all very good at this, even our children now. Good old fashioned soap and water does the trick. Antibacterial formulas destroy the bacteria on our hands, dry out skin, you know, and our skin does need to be healthy to keep the healthy bacteria in and the bad guys out. So using only the antibacterial products, it diminishes our natural immunity, making us more susceptible in the long run to bacteria and viruses. Last up here is vitamin D, one of the most useful nutritional tools we have for improving overall health. Vitamin D is the only vitamin the body can manufacture from sunlight. So in the winter time, people are not exposed to enough light, sunlight, and vitamin D deficiency is very common. So even with today's indoor living, the extensive use of sunscreens and being on the screens, you know, we tend to be vitamin deficient, even in the areas of the country that do get a lot of sunlight. Vitamin D dramatically stimulates antimicrobial peptides that exist within these natural killer cells that I talked about and in cells lining the respiratory tract. And they, vitamin D is very helpful at protecting against lung infections in adults and children. So you're looking at consuming somewhere between two to 4,000 IUs a day of vitamin D, especially at those times of the year when the sunlight is scarce. So when it comes to immune boosting, prevention is key and a very smart strategy and a few well-chosen supplements can provide all the natural armor you need to help strengthen your immune system for you and your family this winter. And honestly, I would not dream of having an empty natural medicine cabinet. Right around September, October each year, I start ordering and packing our natural medicine cabinet with all kinds of the immune boosting stuff. It's such a crucial time of year because even if you do get sick, you have the natural immune boosting stuff on hand to just jump on it quickly and you don't have to wait for it to arrive in the mail. So here's how it works. 
be proactive, and build a strong immune system. And it's essential to start naturally boosting your immune system right away at the first sign of any nasal congestion, a tiny cough, a scratch in your throat, before the viruses or bacteria begin to replicate and move deeper into your system. So the good news is, is you know, by taking good care of your body garden and then stocking up on some key supplements that you have on hand can make a world of difference and help your body fight these infections. And it's as simple as adding powerful immune boosting supplements to your natural medicine cabinet and filling up what I call your kitchen basket with, with some natural antimicrobials. So here are my top three favorite immune boosters. Zinc is number one, essential mineral for boosting immune function. Zinc is in the top three of the most common mineral deficiencies people have. It kills off bacteria and viruses, strengthens the immune system, and then when you have adequate zinc, it prevents you from getting other illnesses, other colds and flu. The dose is around 30 milligrams a day, must be taken with food. Vitamin C, next up, one of my favorite nutrients. We're the only mammal that does not produce vitamin C. That means we need to get it from our diet. Vitamin C fights off cold and flu bugs by speeding up the white blood cell recovery time. Recommended daily allowance for vitamin C is only 65 milligrams. If we're gonna be using vitamin C for body repair and immune boosting, we need much higher dosages, 1,000 to 4,000 milligrams a day, especially if you're gonna be fighting something. Next, number three, elderberry syrup. Elderberries have been used by herbalists for decades as an effective remedy for bacterial and viral infections. Elderberry has the ability to shorten the duration and severity of an illness and it works by slowing down viral replication, which means the virus doesn't multiply as quickly. Elderberries are extremely high in vitamin C and flavonoids. They're very beneficial for respiratory issues and coughs, and elderberry syrup can help loosen the congestion in the lungs. Dose is one tablespoon a day for adults. And I have some yummy recipes here that I call my immune boosting recipes for you. First up, garlicky guacamole. You take one avocado, two large cloves of crushed garlic, half of a lime, because you're gonna be squeezing it, and an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. You mash it all up into a bowl with your potato masher, or your avocado masher, and you can eat it with cucumber slices, gluten-free crackers, or just put it on some gluten-free toast. Very potent immune booster. Next is my immune soup. You take two boxes of vegetable or chicken broth. You chop up one onion, five cloves of garlic, and a two-inch segment of ginger. You boil it all together for 30 minutes. You strain it, and you drink the broth like a tea during the day helpful at boosting immunity. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Stop by again for another health segment straight from the doctor's desk. If you're interested to learn more about natural medicine, you can always visit me on the web at www.drandreapursal.com. And be sure to check out some of my other videos on women's health. Ciao for now. Thank you.